To seal up a joint in between two concrete elements, we recommend to use our single component sealant mask FlexProof X1. To apply FlexProof X1, an ordinary cartridge gun, a spatula and possibly a tape is required. Having a 20 mm joint means that the material must be installed in a depth of around 10 mm. So to say with other words, depending on the width of the joint, we recommend to install the material in a depth of 50% value um, depending on the width of the joint. To get a neat result afterwards, we recommend to apply a tape on the edges of the joint which of course is removed after installing the sealant mass. With a special cutting tool we can remove the top of the cartridge as well as the top of the nozzle. We then place the nozzle on the cartridge and the cartridge into the cartridge gun. When installing the sealant mass, it is recommendable to start on one side of the joint to fill up the gap in between the backing rod profile and the concrete. When having installed the first part of the joint, or the sealant into the edge of the joint, we continue with the other side, filling up the gap in between the backing rod and the concrete with the sealing mass. When both edges are filled, we continue filling up the middle. It is important to avoid getting air into the sealant mass. To prevent hollow spaces afterwards. When enough sealant mass is installed into the joint, we smoothen the surface and we at the same time push in the sealant mass. This is how a joint looks like after having installed FlexProof X1 1K cartridge material. Um, one last thing important to mention is that basically no primer is required before installing FlexProof X1 and um, that the sealant also can, uh, can be applied on damp surfaces.